This is New Cap News with Bart Pityasek. Good evening. We begin with an alarming incident in Bonneville yesterday afternoon after nearby homeowners were evacuated or asked to remain in their basements after a man barricaded himself inside a home. Bonneville RCMP say at around 2 p.m. a woman asked for help, concerned for her friend's well-being. She says he was also heavily intoxicated and in possession of firearms. Officers say the man refused to cooperate with police and would not leave the residence. The RCMP emergency response team was called in just before midnight. They arrested the man. No one was injured. Local residents will see a slight increase in their water and sewer utility bills this year. Alan Kafer, Director of Public Works, says the increase is part of a three-year plan presented back in December of 2012. Effective January 1st of 2015, the, the uh, third year of the rate, approved rate schedules kicks in. Residential areas will see a dollar and 60 cent increase compared to 2014, while those who use larger meters will pay nearly four dollars or more. All residences will have a 5 8 water meter, which is the smallest one, uh, depending on how much water it, uh, you use. In, so typically commercial, uh, industrial will have the bigger meters because they use a larger volume of water. As for next year, Kayford says they have plans of doing a revision, but are not sure what the increase will be or if there will be any at all. Potentially there could be. Um, if, as we continue to look for efficiencies within the system, um, we're certainly going to have a look at the, at the bylaw again sometime this year. Water and sewer utility bills are spent every second month based on usage. Well, it's been a frigid in the border city for the past few days, and snow on the roads has packed into hard ice, causing problems for some vehicles. City crews were blading the southeast corner of the city this afternoon, clearing away snow and leaving the roads smooth and slick. Director of Public Works Alan Kayford says sanding crews have been out all weekend, but the cold weather creates a challenge. When the wind blows, then it blows the sand off, or the first time a vehicle goes by, or a particularly big truck goes by, loosens all the sand up, the wind blows it off to the side, and the wind shines up the road again. These slippery roads mean drivers will need to take their time when stopping. Caverd says the roads can't get much better until temperatures rise. We really need some help from Mother Nature. We're out there putting the stuff on and uh, trying to make it as safe as we can for everyone. The cold is expected to stick around for the rest of the week with highs in the minus 20 range. Crews will do their best. We'll stay out there as long as uh, we don't have equipment problems due to the cold. We'll keep doing what we do until it gets better. <laughs> <laughs>